गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू अ वॉम वेलकम इन ई लर्निंग क्लास रूम थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू आर टेकिंग इंटरेस्ट इन योर स्टडीज एट होम यू आर स्टडिंग विथ योर स्नैक्स एंड इंटरटेनमेंट डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट क्लास आई पैट अप एडिशन एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एडिशन Now the next topic is problem sums, which I will explain you further. This is the answers of the last previous work that was that I gave you in homework, and I think all of you have completed. You have sent it to the WhatsApp, okay? Now our next. topic is word problems word problems are given here and you have to solve this with the help of this example we can understand the word problems your question is there are 50 54453 main 26725 women and 11052 children in a town find the population of the town so start the solution first you write here number of men then number of women then number of children and you have to find out the total population it means you add this one then you will get the population of the town here after adding we are getting the sum 92230 so 92000 Two hundred thirty is the total population of that town. Your second ex example is Rita and Pooja are friends. Both of them collect postal stamps. Pooja has two thousand one hundred fifty postal stamps. Rita has two hundred sixty-two stamps more than Pooja. How many stamps does Rita have? So. Start the solution. Number of stamps Pooja has is two thousand one hundred fifty, and Rita has more stamps two hundred sixty-two. So you add two hundred sixty-two in two thousand one hundred fifty. Then you will get the total number of stamps which Rita has. So after getting, we are after adding, we are. Getting two thousand four hundred twelve. So Rita has two thousand four hundred twelve postal stamps. Students, we are solving word problems. So in this video, we will learn to write the given information in statement form, which is very interesting. All of you watch this video and enjoy it. Today let us solve some addition stories and learn how to write the given information in statement form while solving the problems It's very interesting So shall we begin A shopkeeper sold 31 lakh 29305 chocolates on Monday and 17 lakh 99856 chocolates on tuesday how many chocolates did he sell in all now to understand the problem well and to know what to write as statements ask these questions what is 31 lakh 29000 Three hundred five, and what is seventeen lakh ninety nine thousand eight hundred fifty six? The answers to these questions will help us form the statements for the solution. Thirty one lakh twenty nine thousand three hundred five 
are the number of chocolates sold on Monday. So, we write the statement as chocolates sold on Monday, 31,39,305. are the number of chocolates sold on Tuesday. So, we write the statement as chocolates sold on Tuesday. 17,99,856 Now, let us add these numbers to get the answer. Thus, the total number of chocolates sold, 49 lakh 29,161. So, the shopkeeper sold 49,29,161 chocolates in all. Now, we will solve one more addition story. Vicky travelled 2,39,305 kilometres and Rishi Travelled one lakh forty five thousand six hundred ninety kilometers. How many kilometers did they travel in all? Now, to find the answer, let us write the statements first. Distance travelled by Vicky two lakh thirty nine thousand three hundred five kilometers. Distance Travelled by Rishi, one lakh forty five thousand six hundred ninety kilometers. Now let us add these numbers to get the answer. Thus, the total distance travelled three lakh eighty four thousand. 995 kilometers. They traveled 3,84,995 kilometers in all. Wow! It was fun to learn how to write statements for the story problems. Students, I think all of you have enjoyed the video. Now, it's the class time. Let's start. Worksheet 4 is your class work. Problem sums are given here. A, B, C, D, E. Five questions are here. I am giving you. Try to solve it. One thing more. I am giving you the answers also. All of you observe the answers carefully and learn how to write the statement. Statement is must. You learn. To write the statement at first you solve with the help of this answer set then you will solve it yourself this is the answers of worksheet 4 you see here question number a it was in an examination 29456 candidates passed while 56 sorry 57281 candidates failed how many candidates appeared for the examination and I have solved it in this way you will write at first you write the number of past candidates then number of failed candidates and add it the sum will give you the answers and here the answer is 86,737 students appeared for the examination in the last column you will write the answers also Follow the process and solve it. Students, now the time of homework. I am giving you so many problem sums. It is best on the previous process. All of you will try to do it. I think you can do and all of you will do it. If any problem, then I will discuss 
with you in the next class thank you have a nice day